on this week's news update. The science of springtail jumps. NASA tests a heat shield. And unearthing Roman statues. First up. Some animals have serious jumping skills. Recently, researchers have been studying one of nature's smallest jumpers, springtails. The size of a grain of sand, springtails live in places with lots of water and move around by jumping. Researchers have filmed the springtails in slow motion to understand exactly how they jump. They observed that a small tube sticking out of their body, called a colophore, helps control the accuracy of their jump. By sucking up a tiny amount of water, the colophore allows springtails to remain stable when taking off, keep balanced when flipping through the air, and stay controlled when landing. The researchers have now built a simple robot that copies the springtails' movements, helping them to further understand the springing skills of springtails. Next up, NASA is planning to send humans to Mars. But for astronauts to arrive safely, they will have to pass through the planet's atmosphere, which will cause the spacecraft to heat up to 1,648 degrees Celsius. To protect astronauts, NASA engineers are developing a heat shield to attach to spacecraft landing on Mars. Last week, a mission was launched to test the heat shield in Earth's atmosphere. As these graphics show, the inflatable, air-filled shield was released from a section of rocket. As it hurtled through the Earth's atmosphere, the shield heated up to 1,482 degrees Celsius and sensors transmitted data to update engineers on its progress. The giant shield survived the extreme heat of the atmosphere. A parachute then opened, allowing the craft to land safely in the sea. Following the successful test, NASA aims to prepare the technology for a mission to Mars. And finally, Italy was once home to the Romans, famous for their powerful emperors and fearsome gladiators. Now, archaeologists, specialists who investigate ancient remains, have discovered over 20 Roman statues. The bronze statues were found buried in mud within ancient thermal baths. The mud has stopped too much oxygen getting to the statues. These conditions have helped preserve the statues by stopping bacteria from being able to grow and damage them. Using special equipment, the archaeologists have carefully dug up the statues and taken them to a laboratory to be examined. The statues were found in almost perfect condition and include a statue of the Roman god Apollo alongside several emperors. Members of the public will soon be able to see the incredible discoveries themselves when they go on display in a museum. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time.